on the far western coast of the continent, high atop a rocky promontory overlooking the Sunset Sea, sits Casterly Rock, ancestral seat of House Lannister. Below it lies Lannisport, one of the great cities of Westeros, a center for trade, culture, and the great Lannister fleet. There are a number of gold and silver mines in the Westerlands, making it the richest region in all of Westeros. One of the most productive mines lies beneath Casterly Rock itself, making House Lannister the wealthiest of all the noble houses. This allows House Lannister to finance many endeavors of other noble houses. Even the king himself has sought credit from Casterly Rock from time to time. We Lannisters claim our descent from the Andal invaders, and through the female bloodline, Lan the Clever. According to the legend, Lan, using only his wits, won Casterly Rock from the noble House of Casterly during the Age of Heroes. The Lannisters reigned as Kings of the Rock for thousands of years, and worked to make it the envy of the rest of the Seven Kingdoms. Our time as kings ended, however, when Aegon Targaryen, otherwise known as Aegon the Conqueror, arrived in Westeros with his army. The last King of the Rock, King Lorin Lannister, joined forces with King Myrne Gardner, the King of the Reach. Together with 60,000 men, they met the Targaryen host in open battle. History tells us that Aegon unleashed all three of his dragons, slaughtering 4,000 men at what came to be known as the Field of Fire. King Myrne himself was burned alive that day, and House Gardner turned to ash with him. Seeing both the threat and opportunity the Targaryens represented, Lorin wisely surrendered and aided Aegon in his further conquest of Westeros. The Lannisters were thus appointed Lords Paramount of the Westerlands and Wardens of the West, titles we hold to this day. Let us be clear, though. It is neither luck nor royal favor that makes our house prosperous. There have been times in our history where some have thought us weak, lazy, or opulent. My father, Titus Lannister, nearly bankrupted our house with his poor investments and allowed himself to be mocked openly at court. When our vassal, the reigns of Castamere, dared to rise up against the Lannisters, they learned how dangerous it can be to taunt a lion. I, Tywin Lannister, led the assault on Castamere to put down this rebellion. I made an example of them, to anyone who doubts our might. They even made a quaint song about the fates of the reigns of Castamere. Sadly, there are no reins left to hear it. Today, the Golden Lion of Lannister is rightly admired and feared throughout the Seven Kingdoms. Our words are, hear me roar. But there are other words that should be remembered when crossing a lion of Casterly Rock. A Lannister always pays his debts.